if you piece it all together, it's no different piecing together all the different styles of martial arts to be a mixed martial artist, to go out there and fight MMA. It's, it's the exact same thing when you're piecing together, having the right mindset, um, taking in the right nutrition, uh, doing the right cardio, doing the right training. Putting all that together makes you like an extreme athlete. So, and, and the right part to go out there and fight prepared. So that's what I've been doing and I'm ready for my fight May 17th. Up pretty early this morning, getting ready to get some wrestling in. Um, after wrestling, we're gonna get a great workout in with some weights, uh, hit, hit those body parts to stay strong. Might do a little back and biceps, uh, maybe a few other body parts too. And then uh, after that, thinking about going off road in Tahoe, so we're gonna have some fun this morning. Mr. Favor, hey, what's up? What's up? Your car's so shiny, I can't see it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Hey, so we're good. all rocking the sandals. Yeah, man, That's California right. life. That's Goldie life, man. You forgot your cup, though. Yeah, where's your cup at? Where's Come on. <laughs> so I decided to transition from the UFC to one championship. Uh, the reason being was one championship's based on some of the values that I like, which is like the honor, uh, respect. The whole Asian culture is like the honor, respect, uh, uh, their character. They, they talk about the fighters uh, upbringing and their life and, and kind of show a different style, the true martial arts style. And the thing that also drove me to one championship was uh, the fact that they have not only MMA, but they also have Muay Thai and kickboxing. They also have submission grappling, wrestling, uh, uh, or boxing too. So the, the chance to be able to go out there and compete in all those different aspects sounds like a lot of fun to me. Key mar the key, key martial arts are obviously our boxing, uh, kickboxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu. All the organizations incorporate all that. Sage is a phenomenal athlete. He's been conditioning since he was very young at kickboxing and boxing, so he's developed an incredible skill set at doing that because he did it at such a young age. And he achieved the level of world champion at the various age groups. So he's an excellent striker and kickboxer. So now you bring that to the UFC, which he was in pre previously, and now the 1FC, he's adding wrestling. In fact, the bouts that I saw him lose in the UFC, it was because he lacked the wrestling skills. He came here and he has definitely improved his wrestling skills a thousand percent. single fight that you have, uh, you, you base your training around the opponent that you're fighting. You're always, you're always training though to make yourself better in every aspect, but, but uh, for, for my opponent, he's a great striker, so that's great because I love striking myself and uh, come up with game plans with my coaches and my team at Team Alpha Male and we're going we're gonna to go out there and put on a great show. working on my transitions at Team Alpha Male, uh, going from, from maybe striking to clinching or clinching, taking down, or, or if you get taken down, getting back up. So all the little transitions I'm definitely working on, but also specifically for my opponent, uh, he's, a, he's a great striker, uh, has lots, lots of skill and, and lots of experience. So I'm making sure that I fight smart out there and, and I'm, I'm prepared to go out there against a, a veteran. <laughs> changed my diet at all. Since my last fight, I did go up a weight class from 155 to 170, so up to welterweight. So just, just walking around more of a natural weight, eating more food, uh, feeling better, stronger, faster while I'm out there. That's the only di difference really. Um, taking more, more of my lean body, that's, that's big for extra calories for me, or placing my meals right when I finish training. Oh yeah. Oh, my finger. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, other than that, uh, I haven't really done much with my weight. And fighting for one championship is a little bit different because uh, the, the same weight class is welterweight, but for any other organization, it was 170 pounds was the max. But for one championship, it's a, it's a natural weight. It goes from 170 to 185 max. So I can actually walk out there weighing 185 and, and be hydrated, which is good. All right, guys, we're headed to Lake Tahoe. Let's get out of here. Sweet.
this red lake tahoe check out that water look how still it is it looks so nice uh that, that lake is actually one of the deepest lakes around i think it's like 1600 feet deep supposedly there's no lot Ness monster but we don't know that for sure So we made it first the first entrance to the Rubicon Trail. Oh, dude! You made it over that. That was crazy, dude. Woo, woo. But I was wrong. It's not the not the hardest part to get over. It. It's the hardest part comes right after you get over it. So we didn't make it very far. We made it maybe like 10 feet, 20 feet. And then uh, we decided to go in reverse and back up because the snow was too deep. All right, now we're coming out here to the lake. Um, we've been training hard all week. It's Thursday, so we're about to go dip our legs in the lake and kind of get some recovery action going. And if Alex is crazy enough, he's actually going to swim in it head this first. Way. If you want to get in, you got to go. If you want to swim. Minutes. <laughs> oh snap! That's all I got. Really? No, oh, Alex! I'm no. Out. Alex, I'm gonna arm drag you! No! Alex, come here! No. Alex! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> That's what he gets for leaving. Okay, I'm out too. This is cold. Uh, this is really cold. Oh dude! Uh, I can't feel my uh, toe! Uh, yeah, my name's Alex Murillo, so I'm one of the wrestling coaches up at Team Alpha Male. And uh this is what we like to do on the weekends. <laughs> Come out here, get some fresh air, have some fun, break up the monotony of training every day in the gym, and uh, just do something a little bit different. Get some a good altitude, get some good running in, get in the water, get some good recovery. <laughs> oh, that was a sharp one. You can find a way to simulate all of that out here too. You know, get up in the mountains and you can, you can kind of do the interval running or the hill training and take short breaks and simulate a fight really well. He has all that, all that stuff that I was just talking about. I mean, he embodies every bit of it. And uh, it's just learning, learning the techniques, which he's doing, you know? He's come a long way since he first got to Team Alpha Male. And um, I think he knows more series for the jiu-jitsu roles than I do. Actually, I know he does. I think Sage is gonna do really good in there, especially being able to blend everything together. He's not, he's going into, from what I understand is a world of strikers and um, he's bringing the grappling that he's getting from our team over here and, and the striking that he already has and blending it all together and it's gonna, it's gonna be cool to watch. When you're out there fighting somebody, you never know how fast they're gonna be until you're standing right in front of them or how hard they hit unless you get hit or what their, what their strength's like when they grab you. So until you get out there in the moment, you don't know how your game plan can change because stick to one game plan might be hard out there. But, but to have your techniques down, like we train Team Alpha Male, where it becomes instinct, that's the biggest thing that we've been working on. So, get my instincts down like a lion. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting May 17th in Singapore. It'll be my first fight for one championship, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm heading out about May 8th or May 9th, and uh, it's a 19 hour uh, time difference, I believe, from where I'm at right here. So. So almost a full day. So I'll have I'll have a little over a week to get acclimated to the time before I fight. I'll be fighting Cosmo Alexandre. Uh, he's a, a very experienced fighter. He's had hundreds of fights. Uh, he's a several time world kickboxing champion. So he's very good at striking. Has lots of experience. So uh, he's, set, he's seven and one as a professional MMA fighter. And I'm looking forward to there and fighting him. I plan on not only being the goal or not only being the world champion for, for one aspect, but I believe in myself. I believe that I can go out there and do it for kickboxing too. Uh, Muay Thai also. I, I grew up with a striking background, so I think that'd be really fun to go against some of the, against some of the best guys on the planet uh, in each of those different styles.